Hi everyone, NetFQ here and uh, welcome back to another EVE Online video. Today I wanted to talk about the Spring Balance Update that CCP are putting out, um, especially around super carrier and carrier ships that use the Network Sensor Array. So basically CCP want to treat it now like a Bastion Triage or Siege Module, whereas as soon as you activate it, you can't warp off and you're stuck there on grid for the duration of the cycle. Now granted with the network sensor array, if we have a look at the stats here, the cycle time is 60 seconds. So it's only a minute, but granted if a nuke comes into the system and you've just freshly recycled it, a minute will seem like a hell of a long time. And um, I guess as CCP said in their blog post, that this will add another layer of risk to using it. So you've got the choice. You either take that risk and use it to clear the sites quicker, or you don't use it and clear the sites um, longer. It will take you long to clear the sites, but at least you're able to warp out whenever you want. So one of the things I wanted to do today is just to show you exactly how long it takes to um, target things and um, with it on and with it off because that's basically what it does it speeds up the targeting of ships and um, yeah let's go ahead and uh, and get this show on the road so I'm just going to walk to a site I normally warp at about 30 it doesn't really matter <clears throat> but what I'll do is I'll walk my carrier over there and then we'll just see for the first wave of fighters we're going to um, time how long it takes to um, lock them all without the network sensor array on and then how long it takes to do it with the network sensor array on just to give you a rough idea exactly anyway <clears throat> so as usual whenever you're carrier ratting as soon as you land a line back out <laughs> that's the most important thing you can do is just to line back out. Now I'm not going to launch my fighters. All I'm going to do is I'm just going <coughs> to lock the first wave and we're going to time how long it takes. So we'll just wait for the uh, first wave to spawn and uh, we'll go ahead and lock them all up. Should happen any second. Right, here they are. So we've got the first wave, and as you can see, it is a wave of, you've basically got battleships, and uh, I don't know what these are, are these battle cruisers? Uh, yeah, battle cruisers. <clears throat> so let's find out how long it takes to lock them all. So, um, yeah, here we go. One, two, three. So here we go. So this is with the network sensor array off. And we'll see how long it takes to lock them all. Boom. Done. Okay. And um, as you see on the screen is how long it takes. So now what I'll do is I'll go and unlock them all. And um, God, it's taking a while to unlock. And we'll um, turn the network sensor rate off. Oh, sorry, on, and uh, we'll see how long it takes to lock them all that time. So, here we go, network sensor array is now on. So, let's go ahead and lock them all up. So, as you can see, it's a hell of a lot quicker. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to complete one site with the network sensor array on, and then one site with the network sensor array off just so we can get an idea exactly how long it's going to take to clear a site in total um, just to give you a rough idea exactly you know what sort of um, isk per tick that you're likely to get when carrier ratting with and without the um, the spring balance update and don't forget there is other changes to it as well and that's with the damage um, of the missiles uh, where does it say um, at the moment carriers and sub -ca uh, super carriers are often out damaged sub caps against targets of any size even with support blah 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 so what they're going to do is they're going to increase the explosion radius of all fighter attacks by 15% reduce explosion 
explosion velocity, I should say, of all fighter attacks by 30%. And um, as it says, this will lower damage application against all small targets, but will allow um, pilots uh, compensate by bringing extra tackle to slow down their targets. So if you're PVE, this may cause you to apply less damage to smaller targets like the battle cruisers here. But again, we'll have to see exactly how this plays out. But I think uh, the thing of concern for especially me being a super carrier pilot and um, using it for PVE is the fact that the network sensor array is going to be nerfed and it's not going to allow you to warp. So let's just do a test. As I said, one site with the network sensor array on and one site with it off and we'll compare exactly how long it takes each one. So here we go with the network sensor array on. Just get myself set up first. Right, here we go.
Right, and now that site's clear. Uh, definitely wasn't my best work. It's a bit rusty because I haven't actually been carrier ratting in a while. But uh, yeah, it gives you the um, a fair idea exactly how long it does take. So I'll just turn my network sensor array off. And uh, what we'll do is we will warp to another site and uh, we'll repeat the process. But this time with the network sensor array off. And um, let's just go and find a site. Um. Right, we'll go to this site here. Okay, all my drones are back in, so we'll just walk to the site and we'll uh, we'll repeat the process. And this time with the network sensor array off. And uh, it's one of these bad things, isn't it? It's always take ages for these uh, big ships to get into warp. But uh, yeah, any second now. There we go. No. There we go. <laughs> that took a while. Yeah, especially if you're um, <coughs> carrier ratting and you want to get the high number of um, isks you can per tick. Uh, in that last wave of rats, it always pays to actually then start aligning to your next uh, site. So don't wait until you've cleared all the rats to align. Do it before you clear the rats. Uh, that way, when you do finish clearing it, you can hit warp and you're pretty much aligned and you can warp straight away. Just, uh, just a hint there. It's, um, it's a very good tip. Let's put it that way. Right, we have landed. So uh, let's uh, align out. There we go. Let's launch our drones. Let's lock up the gate. And there we go. Let's make our fighters orbit the gate. And we're still lining out, which is fantastic. And here we go. Let's see how long it takes me this time to clear the site without the network sensor array on.
and there we go that's complete so as you can see that took 5 minutes and 13 seconds by full site clear you're looking at with the network sensor array on 4 seconds with the network sensor array off you're looking at 5 and 26 seconds that's a difference of 1 minute and 19 seconds obviously results will vary depending on and how efficient you are with locking them and uh, managing your fighters but uh, that's pretty interesting so I thought it would be a lot just one minute and not seeing the difference um, but yeah that's quite manageable now obviously there is going to be other um, uh, nerfs coming and that's to the damage application with the velocity and the damage radius for the fighters so that would be quite interesting to see how that plays into um, how long it takes you to uh, decide but uh, yeah, I thought this was quite an interesting test and um, I hope you guys got some things out of it. But um, yeah, it was um, pretty good going. Anyway, that's enough for me and um, I hope you guys have a great week and um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.